So adult food allergies are really interesting because what we found is about 10% of adults actually have a convincing food allergy. That's a lot. Um, also interesting is that one in five adults reported they have a food allergy. So that's a ton of adults avoiding a food. But when we ask about physician diagnosis, only uh, one in 20 were going to a doctor. So there's a lot of adults out there avoiding a food, thinking they have a food allergy. So first thing I would say is if you were avoiding a food due to a food allergy, which is very hard to do to take a food out of your diet completely, please go to an allergist and get it properly diagnosed because there's many other things that can cause food conditions. Um, and then the other interesting finding is that about 50% of adults who had a food allergy said they developed a new food allergy as an adult. So this idea that food allergies are only things that kids get is completely wrong. You can develop a new food allergy as an adult. The number one was shellfish allergy. Um, the other big important thing is we asked adults, why do they think they developed it? Like what the big why, you know, why are people getting food allergies? Some of the key things that need to be looked at and understood better is one, change in environment. Did they move? Um, did something turn on that switch uh, to have them develop this food allergy? Number two is developing an illness, it's a virus or a bacterial illness. And number three is for women, hormones. So we see a lot of changes in food allergies during puberty, but then during pregnancy and during menopause.